Some veterans of the intelligence community are already pushing back against the president's decisions, including former NSA director Michael Hayden, who appeared on the Today Show. It appears the president will now demand that the NSA go to the FISA court before they ask the data a question. He's the director of NSA on September 11th. That procedure reminds me of the way we operated before the September 11th attacks. Uh, that makes me uncomfortable because in addition to this specific thing, it sends a message to the bureaucracy that we're trending back to the old ways of doing business. Joining me now is Congressman Adam Schiff, a member of the House Committee on Intelligence, Democrat from California. Congressman, are we going back to a September 10th mindset? No, and I'm surprised to hear the former director say that. I think that's shockingly inaccurate. Uh, what the president has said is we're going to go to the FISA court when we want to query this database during this transition period, uh, except if there's an emergency. Uh, the 9-11 transformation was one about uh, coordinating information about the left hand and the right hand, knowing what each other are doing. That's really not implicated in the decision to have a court review when there's no exigent circumstance, and I think it was a very sound decision by the president. Chuck Todd and Chris Alyssa and I were talking uh, at the top of the show about how defensive the president was, uh, not defensive in a, in a pejorative way, but how much he defended the program and is not abandoning the mass collection. As long as the mass collection is going to continue and he's only putting up uh, the issue of where it is stored, does that not go far enough to satisfy privacy concerns? Well, it certainly won't satisfy some of the privacy advocates that don't want to see even the private companies hold the data for any period of time. Uh, but I think the president uh, made a sensible decision. We're going to see an end to the bulk collection of data. Uh, he left open the question of where that will be housed. Uh, as a practical matter, though, this program is on an 18-month life. It sunsets in 18 months, and I think it goes away in 18 months. When Congress has to reauthorize. When it would have to be reauthorized. So I think as a practical matter, we are going to move to the model where the telecommunications companies hold on to their own data and will use either the it takes Congress to act or 18 months if we don't act to develop the technology at NSA to be able to compare and talk to these databases among the different providers. Some critics have said that as a result of the Snowden disclosures that foreign governments now know more about what we are doing than they know about their own governments, that all of America's secrets are out in the public. I think that's absolutely true. I, I think citizens of other countries know far more about what the United States is doing than their own governments are doing. Uh, and indeed, some of their own governments, as the president alluded to today, uh, who are uh, complaining most loudly about uh, what the U.S. is doing, are doing their own espionage without the privacy protections. Um, it's also true that a lot of these programs, in particular the, the 702 program that looks at the content of foreign communications, uh, just as often has helped, if not more often, protect our allies from attacks within allied capitals as it has to protect our own citizens. So they've been the beneficiaries of a lot of our efforts. Congressman Adam Schiff, thanks so much. Thanks for being with us today. And coming up next, more of my interview.